Today we're going to be talking about John Donne's poem, A Valediction Forbidding Morning. What's unique about this poem in terms of poems about love is that it's not about physical love, it's not about relationships, but it's about spiritual love. And there's words and phrases in this poem that do illustrate that the, uh, Dunn is talking about a spiritual type of love and not just physical. So let me read it first, then we'll talk about it. A Valediction Forbidding Morning. As virtuous men pass mildly away and whisper to their souls to go, while some of their sad friends do say, the breath goes now, and some say no. So let us melt and make no noise, no tear floods, nor sigh tempests move. T'were profanation of our joys to tell the laity of our love. Moving the earth brings harms and fears. Men reckon what it did and meant. But trepidation of the spheres, though greater far, is innocent. Dull sublunary lovers love whose soul is sense cannot admit of absence, because it doth remove those things which elemented it. But we, by a love so much refined, that ourselves know not what it is, interassured of the mind, care less eyes, lips, and hands to miss. Our two souls, therefore, which are one, though I must go, endure not yet a breach, but an expansion, like gold to airy thinness beat. If they be two, they are two, so as twi stiff twin compasses are two. Thy soul, the fixed foot, makes no show to move, but doth, if the other do. And though it in the center sit, yet when the other far doth roam, it leans and hearkens after it, and grows erect as that comes home. Mm -hmm. Such wilt thou be to me, who must, like the other foot, obliquely run. Thy firmness makes thy circle just, and makes me end where I begun. So this poem is about a person who's leaving his or her lover. They're going away for a little bit, not forever. They're going on a trip, on a long trip. And what the speaker is saying is, we don't need to worry about our love. Other people whose love is based on the physical, it's based on looks, they need to worry because if you remove that person from their sight, the love goes with it. But not so for this couple. So in the first stanza, we've got an extended simile here, as virtuous men pass mildly away. So what he's saying is, is that as, as, as the good people die, and they're quietly dying, and some of their fra sad friends are saying, oh, is he dead now? No, he's not dead now. This person is dying very calmly. So the uh, speaker, Dunn, is using this as an extended comparison of how the speaker and the lover should separate. Just like this virtuous man is quietly dying, is quietly leaving this planet, so too we should quietly leave each other. Let us melt and make no noise, no tear floods nor side tempest smooth. So instead of crying and weeping and making a huge deal about it, we're just going to leave. And we know that we love each other, it's going to be okay. Then we've got some language here, uh, to our profanation of our joys, to tell the laity of our love. Profanation, profane. So there's a difference between the profane and the, it's not coming to me right now, spiritual. 